Express Racket Review. Hey Tennis Express fans, welcome to Racket Review. My name is Richard. Today's featured racket is the Yonex E-Zone 100. The head size on this racket is 100 square inches. The length on the racket is 27 inches long. The strong weight of the racket is 11.1 ounces. The string pattern is 16 by 18, which is a very open pattern and will help you generate a lot of spin. The E-Zone rackets feature two technologies. The x fullerene construction adds cross-linked carbon spheres into the graphite matrix at the sides and top of the head. This provides greater strength in these areas for more power. The new quad power system advances the isometric head shape with additional weight at the corners of the frame. The result is an even larger sweet spot and a more stable racket. This racket is best suited to 4.0 to open level players with medium to long swings. The power level on this racket is medium. It features a tapered beam to give a good combination of power and control. This was a great racket all around the court for me. The Yonex isometric head gave this racket a huge sweet spot and made it very forgiving. I was able to generate good spin off both sides with this frame. The large sweet spot made this a very comfortable racket on my arm. The power level was a little higher than I would like though. From the net this racket was stable and comfortable with good power. The feel of the frame suffered a bit because of the thicker beam width though. On serve this racket provided a good blend of power and spin. I would have liked more control just to take advantage of the spin this racket can generate. Well that's what I thought of this tweener racket. Let's get another opinion. Thanks Richard. Now let's see how I did on the court. This racket felt comfortable at the baseline, although the squared frame took some getting used to. It had a sufficient amount of power and control and a pretty responsive feel. At the net, volleys felt solid and still had plenty of pop. Overall, this is a good choice if you're looking for a combination of power and control with plenty of stability. That's what I thought about this racket. Let's see how Daniel did. Thanks Rachel. Now let's see how I played out on court with the Yonex E-Zone 100. From the back of the court, this racket seemed like a great counter puncher. I didn't enjoy the lack of power and relied on my opponent's pace for my own. The spin and control was a different story. Generating spin came easy and I was happy with the amount of control I had. At the net, I received a trampoline effect on volleys that I personally like to stay away from. However, control was just fine and I was able to create my own pop. My overhead wasn't affected by the lack of power as I was also able to generate my own with no problem. On my serve, I enjoyed the spin I was able to get and was surprised by the power as well. Overall, I'd recommend this racket to any player that can produce their own pace and are looking to get more control. That's how I did. If you're looking to purchase or demo this racket, check us out at TennisExpress.com. Don't forget, add us on Facebook, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information. See you next time! Call us today at 1-800-833-6615 or visit us online at TennisExpress.com.